I'm Alexis Scott, your neighborhood news reporter here at City Hall. Emotions running high this week at Corpus Christi City Council as council members considered and ultimately approved the first of two votes, which are intended to move the city's seawater desalination facility forward. We took a look into the cost and how the desal facility could impact ratepayers. I mean, it, it, I, I, this is laughable. Peter, th I mean, I understand you want to move fast, but damn. The majority of the council pretty much told staff, get us some more water. That's what we're doing today. Gil Hernandez, District 5 councilman and longtime proponent of seawater desalination, says he did not vote on the seven desalination items presented at Tuesday's meeting. It wasn't enough information. And then when they did provide that, if it, we were at the council meeting, which we weren't able to dig down and dive through the numbers. Roland Barretta, District 3 councilman, was one of six to vote yes this week, saying he had the information needed to make an informed decision on a topic that had been discussed for over 10 years. The pressure of a deadline gives that feeling that it's being rushed because things have to be done by a certain time to fulfill certain obligations. I've, I've always been a big supporter of uh, the, the initiative because we need the water. Hernandez says the ultimate impact to the ratepayers is still unknown, and he was shocked by the price to build the Inner Harbor desalination facility. It's imperative that we look at this from that financial standpoint, how this is going to affect us. What is this going to do to the rates? I don't know how we can pay for $758 million without rates going up significantly. In 2020, the Texas Water Development Board approved a $220 million bond. That bond was to pay for completion of permitting for two desalination plants, land acquisition, design, and the construction of one of the facilities, the one located at the Inner Harbor. Last week, City Manager Peter Zanoni said the cost of the Inner Harbor facility is expected to be $541 million. But at Tuesday's council meeting, the cost totaled $758 million. Hernandez says he believes the increase in cost is deceptive. I just thought it was disingenuous. Um, we didn't have the information to make such a monumental decision. Zanoni says the cost increased because the original plan was for a 20 million gallon per day plan, not a 30 million gallon per day plan, as the new plan calls for. He also says the $541 million is just the cost to build the facility. The rest of the money would go towards infrastructure and integrating the facility into the water supply. The all-in number that includes uh, integration, uh, power supply, more rigorous pumping systems. When you put all of all of the uh, figures in, then it's over $750 million. Meanwhile, the final impact to ratepayers is not yet known. Zanoni says the rate impacts have been reviewed and shared, but could change. The impacts were based on the $541 million, not the full price, with the hope that grants could offset the rest. So any rate that we provide today is, is an estimate based on the data that we have today. Mm -hmm. And so the rate can change if the grant comes in less, the rate can change if the construction comes in less. Ultimately, any bonds would be paid back through utility rates, which includes a surcharge for industrial customers. In the last five years, that account has totaled just over $20 million. We want certainty and quality in water delivery and supply, so the rates are important. Um, we can't have water unless we have the revenue to pay for it. People may not see it here in the short term. It may not affect rates over the next three to five years, uh, but it will, it'll come, uh, you know, it'll come and it'll be significant. So there's a lot of information there that needs to be provided to us so we can make a good decision on saying, okay, this is the right thing to do. What's next? The second and final vote is set for Tuesday. I'll be at the meeting and I'll tell you what the council decides on the future of desalination. Reporting from your neighborhood at Corpus Christi City Hall, Alexis Scott, Chris 6 News.